Kate Middleton's private battle while Prince William suffered with COVID. As Prince William battled COVID-19 earlier this year and was struggling to breathe, wife Kate was facing her own private battle too. On April 9, there was breaking royal news, William and Kate, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, had undertaken their very first official video call engagement, speaking to primary school staff and children. And you thought being royal was all finger sandwiches and liveried servants ironing your socks. Royal watchers and social media devolved into a lather of excitement over the future King and Queen's text have Venus and Kate's choice of a bargain Zara sweater for the occasion, which she paired with her signature cheery, jolly hockey sticks persona. The world now knows that as the couple zoomed away from behind the walls of their Georgian country home Anmer Hall, the reality was far, far less rosy. Earlier this week The Sun broke the news that William had been diagnosed with COVID-19 in early April, with a source saying, William was hit pretty hard by the virus, it really knocked him for six. Given that William will one day be the titular head of a government, army and church, this was a fairly monumental occurrence for the palace machine to decide to keep secret. While his father Prince Charles' positive coronavirus result was made public on March 25, the palace explained that the decision to not make William's result public became he just didn't want to worry people. He felt there were more important things going on in the country. That keep calm and carry on zooming philosophy does not particularly stand up to much scrutiny, especially given that other high-profile figures such as Prime Minister Boris Johnson saw fit to make their diagnoses public. Also, after more than a year of the Prince Andrew, Jeffrey Epstein and Brolio having cast doubt over the royal family's transparency, the shrewdness of this William furtiveness is up for debate. But we're here to talk about Kate. While the exact date of William's diagnosis has not been made public, on March 19 the Duke, alongside Kate, visited the London Ambulance National Health Service 111 service. The next time he was seen in public, so to speak, was the aforementioned public school video conference, suggesting that he was sick at some point between those dates. Throughout the COVID pandemic, the 38-year-old Duchess has been widely hailed as having played a belter. Faced with the first real test in her, nearly, 10 years on the royal job, Kate has shown as a sort of blow-dry beacon of cheerfulness that princesses-in-waiting are expected to be.